Hey developers, should you just copy and paste code? Let's talk about it. So when you're learning web development and you're learning to program, it is really tempting to go online, look for some fancy code, copy and paste it, and just start running it. And for sometimes and for some cases, that's okay. But I wanna introduce a term to you that you may have heard of before, and it's called cargo cult programming. So here's the Wikipedia article and I'll read it. Cargo cult programming is a style of computer programming characterized by the ritual inclusion of code or program structure that serves no real purpose. The term cargo cult programmer may apply when an unskilled or novice computer programmer or one inexperienced with a pro problem at hand copies some program code from one place to another with little or no understanding how it works or whether it's required in its new position. This is definitely a bad practice to do. It's definitely a sort of kind of an anti-pattern that you just don't want to take someone else's code and copy and paste it into your own code and not really know how it works. And the reason you don't want to do that is because eventually what's going to happen is you're going to uh, run into bugs and problems. And if you don't understand the code that you copy and pasted into your code, you're going to have problems. Now, that's not to say that you can't use other people's libraries and frameworks and things like that and bring that into your own code. Because hopefully that code is documented well enough that you can understand the nuances of it. It's written well enough that it's, you know, bug free to a certain point. If you're taking other people's code that has a lot of bugs in it, then maybe you shouldn't be doing that, of course. And of course, when as time progresses and goes on, you're going to be creating your own code and creating your own libraries and creating your own workflow. And so when you create new programs, you may be copying, pasting things from other programs and projects that you worked on before because you know the code works. And I have no problem with that either. So that type of copying and pasting is good. You want to do that type of copying and pasting. The copying and pasting you don't want to do is the one where you're just taking other people's code and that you found online, you just Googled some concept and you're just copying and pasting it into your program because you are gonna have problems and you're really not learning anything. Now, there might be another caveat to that is if you're learning a tutorial. And a lot of times, the way people learn tutorials is that they'll either go to GitHub, they'll clone the repository and they'll just start working on it and they'll read through the code. Other times, if it's a blog post, they might copy and paste it in from the blog into their own code um, that if you're just doing it for truly just learning purposes, I don't really see that big of a deal by just copying and pasting the code because you're not going to be using that in production. You're not going to use that in your own projects. You're just kind of learning. But for the most part, you really want to try to, to avoid doing that. Now, another thing you could do is if you're learning a concept or programming um, problem or technique is that instead of just copying and pasting it into your code, is to actually just write it out, type it out yourself. And that's gonna do a couple of things. It's gonna help you uh, absorb the material better. It's gonna help make you understand the material. If you're typing it word for word, maybe you can actually not do that. You can start writing it and then try to complete it yourself without just copying and pasting the, without just copying the code word for word. So that we can really understand and retain what the problem is. Um, so there's definitely uh, pros and cons for copying code. If you are doing the cargo cult programming, you're just copying and pasting things from different uh, websites, tutorials, not for the purpose of learning, but to create your own product, you are going to have a hard time and you're going to incur a lot of uh, technical debt. You're going to you're going to have lots of code that doesn't make sense. It's going to be spaghetti code. It's uh, it may not all fit correctly together at the end of the day. So that is usually a pretty bad practice and you don't want to do that. So try to avoid that at all costs. Try to write your own code. Um, feel free to pull it into other people's libraries, but uh, unless you're truly just learning a tutorial, then you just need to write your own code. It's just good. And especially if you're a student, I've seen this a lot with students. They'll get a hard assignment. They'll be asked to solve some algorithm question and they'll just go online and just copy and paste it. I've seen in especially computer science programs and classes where the student will literally just grab some online site, 
copy and paste the code into the paper they turn into their professor and they'll even forget to like take out the comments <laughs> that were in the code. Sometimes the really bad ones will forget to, they'll accidentally copy and paste like the URL and things like that. It's just a, a really bad way to do it. And if you do that, of course, you'll some eventually someone will learn and you'll get in trouble, especially in a classroom setting. But just to keep learning, keep trying, you know, write your own code. Don't just copy and paste other people's stuff. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button. That really helps me. And by the way, I have a new book that is coming out very shortly. I have the first four chapters done. You can get it. Uh, it's the Vue.js in action. It's the Vue.js framework uh, library. I have a link below for the description, so you can click on that and check it out. Thanks.